Ankit was really happy from yesterday's cleaning campaign. He was pondering over the importance of water since then. Today is Sunday. His friend Pavan had asked him to come over his place for playing. Ankit loves to both play and study with Pavan. This is because Pavan is bright in both studies and sports. Although Ankit dislikes his habit of carelessness, Ankit's parents owned a dairy farm. When Ankit reached Pavan's house in the evening, he was taking a shower. After waiting for some time, Ankit went to the courtyard. Pavan's mother was watering the plants over there. She seemed to be a bit tensed. What happened, Auntie? Why do you look tense? Oh, Ankit, come. See, I had thought of creating a fine garden in my courtyard. Just a week ago, I have planted these plants, and I take so much care of these flowers, and water them every day. All the plants are growing, but I don't know why these thorny plants are dying. Auntie, why do you water these plants every day? These thorny plants belong to the species of cactus and they need very less water to survive. Perhaps these must be dying due to excess of water. Ah! <laughs> oh my god! And see, I water them every other day thinking that they may need more water. No, auntie. Have a look. The whole flower bed is full of water. It is actually like floods for these plants. Hmm, this is a correct simile. If water is more than the need, it can do a lot of damage as well. Even excess rainfall causes floods, drowning houses, streets, and even forests. Yes, auntie. During floods, water seeps into the tiny pores present in the soil and replaces the air present in these pores. Because of this, organisms living in soil and the roots of trees could not breathe and eventually dies many living beings also die because of drowning crops are ruined just like that these flower beds seems to be flood prone from now on i will water these cactuses once in a few weeks only just then pavan who was listening to ankit's conversation for a while comes from behind no mother watering them once or twice a week is necessary otherwise they will get dry and eventually die just like the time of drought when there is a scarcity of rainfall rivers and ponds dry up it's a big problem for the areas where groundwater level is very low wow mister you know everything still you waste so much water by taking shower for hours is it right rightly said ankit answer him pavan actually I mother what will happen if I only use a little more water See that so much water gets wasted on our dairy farm Pavan don't you think we should do something about that first But we are helpless in that water is needed to bathe the animals and wash their stables Auntie I have a solution to fix this issue. You can use all this water again by filtering it. Filter? We have a water filter at our home, but that is way too expensive. How are we going to install a filter on such a large scale? Ankit, I think it's a good idea though. We can filter water naturally as well. Why don't we show the process which we learned while doing the science project to her? Pavan and Ankit brought a water bottle from inside then Ankit cuts it from the bottom both kids placed a cloth at the top of the bottle first then one by one they made layers of coarse sand charcoal fine sand and gravel till the top Pavan pours dirty water in it in a while water droplets start falling from the mouth of the bottle See auntie you can make such a natural water filter on a large scale with the help of this water can be reused Well done this seems to be an old but nice method Why don't we think of something even bigger When it rains a lot of water drains in a small time period Tell me how can we use that water 
Yes, it reminded me of rainwater harvesting. Mother, please tell us a bit more on rainwater harvesting. The objective of rainwater harvesting is that water, instead of getting wasted, could get harvested for future use. If we assume the roof as a funnel and attach a pipe to it to collect water, a lot of water can be harvested in this way. Now, you both think and tell me what shall be done. Mother, we can build a huge tank where rainwater will get collected, which can be used at the time of need. The tank shall be covered all the times so that the water doesn't get evaporated. Yes, absolutely. We can do one more thing. The rainwater which gets collected on the roof can be transported through a pipe to be a small tank which can be further connected to groundwater. By this method, rainwater will get mixed with groundwater. If we keep the floor and roof of the house slanting towards the tank, then the rainwater of the surrounding area will also seep into the earth. By doing this, we will not face water scarcity problem throughout the year. Alright kids, I will call Vishnu Plumber tomorrow only to get the systems installed. We will welcome the rain together this year. Ankit brother, if the lesson on saving the environment is complete, shall we go to play? <laughs> <laughs>